Hi everyone, my name is Tyler McNamer. I am currently 20 years old and I wrote uh, two best-selling novels, Population One and Becoming One. What are the books about? Well, they are uh, about what it's like to have autism in first-person point of view. And ever since I have done these uh, books, I have uh, started uh, my company uh, known as Autism Works. We are just here for one reason, one reason only to help coach and to, to make autism much more workable, to negotiate with autism as well. It may work uh, for you, it may work for uh, someone else when it comes to these uh, when it comes to these strategies that, uh, that I and we provide. And one of the things that you, the audience, have, um, have asked me uh, relating to daily basis is what can we do, we as in uh, people who, uh, who do not have autism, uh, help those uh, who have uh, autism in a, in a daily basis, like in social situations. Kind of thing. One thing that's uh, that's for certain is when it comes to social situations, this is a team effort. You know, so for someone who has autism, uh, they work uh, as a team. For those who do not have autism, they also work as a team. And so for those who have it, we got uh, we got to work together. Can you do that? Here's how uh, we uh, we do uh, teamwork uh, when it comes to social situations. When it comes for someone who does not have autism, meet someone who has autism. Number one, for those who have uh, autism, uh, when you feel like you're in a little bit of a rough time, and uh, you know when it comes to understanding things, or you want someone to slow down for a little bit too, or so that says that you can understand, it's important to um, to keep in mind that you don't need to um, tell people that you have autism. Now, here's the reason why I believe. That when uh, that when the autism is is mentioned out uh, on the blue, people who do who do not have autism would uh, may feel like that they have to limit themselves and feel like they have to they have to uh, to go easy and play it safe uh, when it comes to social situations. For example, I'm a very active guy. I really love um, activity, and I especially love a good challenge. And when people knew that I have autism. They would feel like that they would um, play easy and play it safe uh, around me too. You know, especially when I was playing basketball one time too, and and I was, I was, uh, I was there in the court dribbling, uh, dribbling the ball, and I noticed that, that a lot of people uh, were playing it too easy on me too. Like they wouldn't, like they wouldn't go after me or play rough or try to get the ball away from me. Kind of thing too. I was really kind of uh, quite confused at that point too, and uh, and a tad bit frustrated. <laughs> frustrated because uh, because I was like, "Where's the challenge? You know, what's what's going on here? I I don't understand. What's what's uh, going on here?" And all that kind of thing too. So so that's why um, so that's why I I do believe that when it comes to social situations, it's okay to um, to not to not mention uh, autism. You know, when it comes to uh, to um, uh, casual conversations as uh, as well and. And when people um, do know that you have autism, that's okay. That's okay too. And that goes for number two when it comes to someone who do not have autism. That's the no for someone who has autism. Um, the number two, I will recommend uh, this. It's okay to not play it safe. Um, it just, uh, in other words, just be yourself. And be, uh, just, just talk to people who have autism as if they do not have autism. You know, I, I do believe that um, that's uh, with that's uh, important to just be yourself around uh, other people, whether they have autism or otherwise. It's uh, it's okay to uh, talk a certain way that that makes you feel comfortable. Or the point is that um, is that I don't want people to feel like they have to change uh, for the sake of uh, of uh, you know for the sake of being friends for someone who has autism. I I generally don't uh, don't believe that's that's fair for. For people who do not have autism, not concept too. So, you know, it's um, it's okay to be yourself, and it's important too that number three is um, is that when someone who has autism uh, say that um, they say something along the lines of, "Can you slow it down?" or or "I don't understand. Can you clarify it with me?" Then then simply uh, then simply um, uh, follow in with the request, not concept too. It's <laughs> uh, you know it's okay. You know this is. This is the part where we uh, where we can learn about patience. You know, the patience uh, for those who have autism and for those who do not have autism. Like I said, teamwork. <laughs> you know, this is uh, this is the process of concept too. Work with them, and they will work with you. And so it's okay. You know, when you uh, when you ask for help, ask for guidance. Uh, when you when you don't understand, it's okay to it's okay to ask. 
Uh, and for those, uh, uh, you know, it's, it's okay to, to clarify for these, uh, for these kind of things too. Uh, it's, you know, it's just, um, you know, it's kind of, it can be fun. It can be kind of easy. It's, you know, the more we have these conversations like, uh, like that too for, and that goes uh, for number five, is to simply, it's to simply listen to one another and to talk to one another. You know, I do believe that, uh, that, that uh, you know, strong friendships are those, uh, are those who listen and understand. And you know, this, it comes to the whole point with uh, with autism works is that I believe that uh, that as as a coach, is that uh, is that I do not um, yeah, I do not bring judgments, I do not uh, I do not judge. I can only give guidance, and I always say that uh, too. That uh, you know, I'm not you know, I have to be very careful for these kind of things too. Is that uh, is that I'm not licensed uh, to be uh, uh, to you know that, these kind of things too. Like you know, for for my psychiatrist John White, he's He's um, he's licensed uh, to do that. You know, he's got the he's got the board and everything. He's got the board and everything. I'm I'm not uh, like one of those uh, one of those guys, but I will um, but I will give uh, guidance when it comes to when it comes to, to autism because because I have it and uh, and I know what's like what it's like to have it. What I like to do is I just uh, I just want to help out. I want to be the be your teacher. I want to be your guidance. Um, uh, you know, I want I want to guide you, and that's why. I, that's why I wrote um, the two books, uh, Population One, Autism, Adversity and the Will to Succeed, and Becoming One, Autism, Adolescence, and a Transition to Adulthood. And ever since uh, then, I be uh, I become my, I become your international keynote speaker in the topic of autism. And um, and that's what we, that's what we like to do. We just want to um, we, uh, we just want to um, give guidance. When I first started out, uh, I kind of too. I used to be the be the one that says, you know. Uh, uh, we're not uh, here to demand acceptance on concept. It's like it's like give me acceptance on concept. Too. It's, and and I'm still I'm still like that too. I you know, I, I don't I don't believe that concept too. That's that's why I believe that that, that unity is welcomed. It is never forced, and that's what we're here for for uh, for autism works. And sometimes uh, you know when it comes to you know daily uh, uh, you know daily life with uh, with autism and social situations, it can be tough. I know it can be hard. Because of the whole misunderstanding uh, situations and all, kind of, you know, and all these uh, kind of things too, and there's uh, always these hidden secrets uh, to unity and social situations and things like that. And that's why uh, that's why we uh, we go all the way back to saying uh, to saying that this is a team effort. We gotta work together as we gotta work together as a team, uh, and the teamwork is all about listening. It's, it's about understanding. I do not believe that uh, teamwork is about uh, judgment because, you know, let's face it, uh, when someone makes a mistake and, uh, and someone uh, points uh, fingers, then, then there really is no uh, progress being made. Uh, someone makes a mistake, what happens? Well, uh, well someone out there is going to, is going to um, uh, bring you back up and we, and we continue the mission and <laughs> we, can, we continue the journey. And, um, you know, there's, there's about to be misunderstandings and mistakes uh, here and there, but it's how we work with it uh, that we understand. And it simply, uh, simply starts with having a conversation like, to give some, give some guidance for uh, for everyone. And, and that's uh, that's uh, how it works. We can make uh, we can make good uh, friends uh, that way too. Who knows when it comes to uh, uh, people who do not have autism? Uh, that uh, that maybe someone with autism uh, you know, generally enjoy heavy rock music, <laughs> and uh, and uh, you know that may be quite surprising because I'm sure a lot of people know that sometimes when it comes to hearing sensory it can be a little challenging but you never know when you meet one person with autism you have met one person with autism that's what i've been saying that's what my dad has been saying and uh and it's true you know everyone's kind of different and so uh and so when when you meet someone with autism that happens to love heavy rock uh, uh, heavy metal music then uh that can be that can be a wonderful treat <laughs> it's like like no way! I love heavy rock music too. <laughs> and here are full of surprises. It's um, a full of surprise when it comes to autism. It's uh, and um, you just never know unless you make the effort to start talking to one another. With people who have autism, uh, same uh, same situation. Uh, start um, start talking to one another too. This is my challenge to you: that is to get, is to uh, meet new people and to get to know them, whether it be whether it be in school or in the workplace or or maybe even, um, or maybe even a group somewhere in the internet or something like that too. Just you just never know unless you unless you make that first step. For those who have autism and for those who, who do not have autism, it's 
It's like it's it's all up to you. It's uh, and it can be an adventure. And you know, take it for me and take it for us. We uh, we always love a good adventure. You know, it's uh, it doesn't start unless you take uh, unless you take that that one step. It can be scary, but uh, fear is temporary. Courage is forever. My name is Tyler McNamer. Good night. <laughs>